Hello, Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. This is your rune and tarot reading for eclipse season. We're already in eclipse season at the time that I'm filming this. There will be a lunar eclipse in Libra on March 25th, and there will be a full solar eclipse in Aries on April 8th. So between those dates, this energy is gonna be the strongest, but we will also feel it a week prior and a week after. So from February 25th, 2024 to May 8th, 2024, we will be in eclipse season. And for those who are unfamiliar, eclipse season tends to bring in a lot of shocking changes and divine interventions. It's sort of like the universe has a hand in our lives and a lot of unexpected shifts and turns take place. It can be emotional, it can be great, it could be devastating, it could be anything. So that's why we're doing this reading. And let's just dive straight into it. You have Burkana coming out in the reverse position. This is the rune of birth, okay? So for some of you, I am wondering if there are fertility issues. You know, I'm just being honest. I am picking up for some Gemini folk and I'm not predicting, I don't predict things like this. So this would have already happened if it resonates for you. This could be some sort of fertility issue you've been having, like miscarriage or something like that. Again, not predicting it, not predicting it. If you're already pregnant, there's something with that though, like if it would have already happened in your life, you may be dealing with that at this time. This could also talk about um, unexpected changes in your family, family emergencies or um, health. Health seems to be coming up really strongly, Gemini. So the health of you, the people around you, etc., seems to be taking um, center stage at this time. So yeah. There's that. <laughs> okay, so take really good care of your health. I would recommend making any doctor's appointments that you've been procrastinating during this time and just, you know, making sure everything's okay. Some of you, Gemini, may find yourself in a caregiver position, which is why Barkana is coming out very strongly at this time. And you may be dealing with the more stressful or challenging sides of caregiving, whether it's caregiving for a child, an animal, an elderly person. It's just like you're caregiving for someone and they may be going through their own challenges is what I'm seeing here. For some of you, you may be nurturing your own health if you're coming out of a sickness or some sort of injury. So the, the theme really seems to be maintaining health, taking care of health, caregiving. We have the Page of Wands coming out as your first card. We're gonna pull six cards from the Giant Rider Waite Smith deck. This is the first one, and this represents communication. Um, also, another message with Barkana in reversed, there may have been a false start in your life that is coming back around to be revisited, okay? So for example, um, anybody who you may have dated or been in a relationship with that didn't really work out because the timing wasn't right, they may be coming back around at this time. You know, things like that, an opportunity that you had in the past that, you know, it just wasn't the right time or your, your vibes were kind of off in the past, you know, if you, seem to be on a similar page, similar wavelength now, it will definitely be returning. I am seeing that, okay? So a second chance at something seems to be coming forward and I am seeing communication there, um, passion there, budding sort of romance or like a budding excitement uh, with that, really interesting. And this could even be a second chance at like old projects or ideas that you had that you just didn't have the time to do. You may be doing them at this time. We have the Queen of Cups, again, talking about fertility. I don't know why fertility, children, babies, keeps coming up so strongly for you guys. Even if it's not like physical human babies, this could be like you are pregnant with the idea of something and you're ready to give birth to it. And you may have, the fertility issues may have been creative blocks or just not enough time, resources, money in the past. And now it's like coming back around for you and it's like, okay, well, can we do it this time? Like, is it doable? This time. So there is that. I am seeing great emotional openness, but you're also wanting to protect your heart, especially if it comes to anything coming back around from the past and you're sort of revisiting, like, is it worth it this time? I wouldn't be surprised if the judgment card came out for you because the judgment card represents things from the past returning and making the judgment call on whether or not we want them to return or the six of cups, similar message there as well, but we'll see what else comes out. 
definitely um, your social life, your relationships is standing out strongly. I feel really strong family energy as well. So your family may really need you at this time or call upon you at this time for whatever reason. I don't know if you're like babysitting, caring for someone, uh, doing a favor for someone, or if there's like a family crisis that's in the middle of taking place here or some sort of big transition that's taking place here. But I am seeing that energy as well. Let's see what else comes out. Who the devil? Mm. Mm -mm -mm. <laughs> we have the four of wands. Wow, this card keeps coming out for everyone. A lot of marriages, a lot of like new celebrations. Three of wands, holy moly. Let's see what the final card is before we dive deep into what this all means. King of Pentacles, wow, King of Pentacles, Queen of Cups, Page of Wands, yeah, so a King, a Queen, and a Page. Like I said, children, babies, standing out really strongly. A lot of you guys, pregnancy and babies are standing out so much right now, so if you're not into that, take precautions, okay? Um, and if you already have a child, you know, I feel like sorting out issues that may exist with that child's mother or father, you know, the other counterpart there, um, may be a big theme of this eclipse season for you because we have the King of Pentacles, we have the Queen of Cups, oh gosh. <laughs> and in between them is the Devil, which talks about the patterns that are toxic that we're stuck in. So I definitely feel like, um, Anything that's been toxic in the past or, or just negative, not healthy for us or the people around us is definitely coming to the surface right now to be healed. You know, I feel this energy of time has passed, wisdom has been gathered, a healing has taken place. And so it's like, can we come together this time around in a really healthy and successful way? with the four of wands. Can we communicate? Can we work together very healthily? I'm seeing partnerships here that go beyond just like romance or, you know, the traditional partnerships. It's like, can we be good life partners, even if we're not together? Can we be good friends? Can we, you know, have a healthy mother, daughter, father, daughter, father, son, mother, son relationship? Can we be good siblings? You know, this sort of energy is coming through really strongly here. I wonder for some of you if this is a romantic person, either that you're presently with or from the past that's returning, I wonder if you used your sensual energies, <laughs> your physical life to mask problems that existed in this relationship. Mm. Some of you guys, this person, you may have had a fire sex life, <laughs> but there may have been other issues in the connection. And I'm seeing growth has taken place. And it feels like this is coming back around, like you're coming back around to this, um, which is really interesting. I'm also seeing planning for future travel with the Three of Wands. Okay, there's a big focus on your personal goals and creative ideas at this time, whatever those goals and creative ideas may be. For some of you, it may be a business. I'm also seeing, I've been seeing for a lot of people, um, home renovation, saving up for a home, things like that. And there's a big focus on that, you know? And I feel like you wanna protect your energy because things have probably been going pretty okay, pretty good for you. And you don't necessarily wanna become chained up to a relationship or an obligation that takes your peace away from you once again, you know? So I am getting a sort of like protectiveness over your energy. I am seeing a divine feminine energy here in your reading that is very creative, spiritually connected, open. This could be you for a lot of you. Um, and then I'm seeing a divine masculine energy here that is more grounded, practical, logical. And they're both in their more mature energies. So I don't know why I keep coming back to like a, a couple that did not work in the past. You know, they may be really good at co communicating now, even if they're not together. Like they may be a good team now, even if they're not together. So I, I'm seeing that for some reason, or like your relationship there may be okay. This could even be talking about a couple that isn't you, you know? This could be like your friends' relationships are improving, they're becoming better, it's less weird. You don't have to hear so much about it anymore. Um, we also see the Four of Wands, which does show a big life celebration for you. So during this eclipse season, there's probably gonna be some sort of celebration. 
Um, and this celebration may involve travel for some of you. This could be a wedding, baby shower, birthday, something like that, or even just like a general getting together and celebrating of life uh, situation here. I am seeing an accomplishment. Uh, there will be goals of yours that are 100% met in during this uh, eclipse season. See, the eclipse season can bring huge changes, but they can also bring massive blessings. And so, um, Gemini, I feel like there's really big blessings and changes taking place for you at this time. A huge, huge, huge life goal of yours. I just feel like it's being met, you know? Some of y'all may be graduating. Some of y'all may be having business success finally. Some of y'all may be uh, completing some sort of big project or thing that you've been working on, um, getting married, ascending a relationship, something like that, buying a car or house. It, it feels like a big goal that you've really been working towards and you're celebrating it during this eclipse season, which is great. Okay. Mm. Yeah, I feel like this eclipse season is all about where your independent road takes you. You know, you want to focus on your, your personal life and goals and where that's leading you. You want to maintain your independence for sure. But then on the other hand, there's something drawing you back to, the, to a relationship or to some sort of obligation that may have had its more toxic or negative elements in the past. And again, this question of like, can it be healthy? You know, can we release that is coming through very, very strongly here. Um, some of you guys may be experiencing some form of resistance in relationships, okay? Um, say, for example, you need someone to cooperate with you because you have like a shared child or, you know, a shared home and you may feel like chained to that situation and you don't necessarily want another person to have control over your peace over your independence in your life and that's what this eclipse season is all about actually the lunar eclipse in libra is gonna really bring out energies involving our partnerships and our relationships and then the solar eclipse in aries talks about our independence and our relationship with self so balancing those two may take some work for you guys in particular i feel like the lunar eclipse is going to be really really significant because it feels like you've been enjoying your alone time you've been focusing on your personal goals and well-being and just trying to like hype yourself up and i, I feel like you created a certain degree of peace for yourself that you, you're a little afraid of someone coming in and taking that piece from you or it, you know, being shattered. So I feel like working with others better seems to be a big theme that's coming through at this time. And there may be a, some big news and events that come through that involve your relationships, okay? So be on the lookout for that and work through whatever challenge may come up within your relationships or any challenging emotions that may come up in your relationships, okay? Thank you guys for joining me. Definitely watch for your sun, moon, rising, and Venus signs to get the fullest overview of this eclipse season, especially if any of those signs are a cardinal placement, such as Aries, Cancer, Libra, or Capricorn, because those signs are gonna be the most affected. Like this video, comment how it resonated down below, and subscribe to the channel if you have not already. If you want a personal reading with me one-on-one, -on -one, the link to that is always in the description box, spiritpsychic.org. I also offer my intention oils there and my spiritual life coaching sessions there, so check it out. Bye-bye.